Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Now, apparently Donald Trump is still talking about his supposed plan to fight the opioid ep epidemic here in the U.S. And as we know, many, many Americans, far too many Americans, have been dying in this opioid epidemic. Whether it be from prescription pain medication to things like heroin. And we all know this is a very bad deal and a very bad thing. This is something we need to do. I personally think we need to focus more on treatment and prevention of uses of opioids and as opposed to the criminal side of it as much. Although I do believe that there should be criminal sentences, you know, that can be considerably lengthy in time for people, you know, dealing. And, you know, rather strict rules you know if you go and you know maybe even a even a maximum minimum or a minimum maximum or whatever to um guarantee that if these people sell to children that they're not getting back out now that i understand and i don't believe this is something that really is it's it is its own thing i don't think i don't really believe the in the information that i've seen and the studies i've seen show that marijuana is not really connected to these things so i don't see any connection really between marijuana to heroin many people do the studies i've seen say that there there's no link between you know people smoking pot and smoking heroin or shooting up heroin or whatever it is people do with heroin but yesterday donald trump gave a speech Part of it, he highlighted some stuff that was being done, um, apparently unbeknownst to him, uh, from the Clinton Foundation. But there, there's a thing that the Clinton Foundation has been supporting to help get people more treatment and stuff like that. And that was good. You know, he has some good. He does have some ideas that seem like they could work. But then comes the doozy, and he says he said he he believes that we should put drug dealers to death. And my first thought, my first question was, so does that mean the CEOs and executives of Big Pharma are going to be going to the death chamber? And I am fairly certain that Donald Trump is not looking to put those people behind bars or to death. Now let's be really let's be frank. Let me be frank here. The opioid epidemic did not just sprout up overnight because drug dealers showed up. Drug dealers showed up to fill a fill a need. That need was the need for opiates, whether it be heroin, what have you. Now, sure, the heroin's been around a long time. And, and it's kind of had ebbs and flows of how bad it was. Now, I had a friend of mine pass away due to a drug overdose, um, believed to have been a heroin overdose. And that was very devastating to me and to many of his friends that are even closer to him than I was. And... It's taken the lives of a lot of celebrities as well, and everyday people. People you and I may have, may know every day. There's there's no there, there's no nothing that says this person is and this person isn't a user of heroin or any other kind of opiate. Addicts have a way of hiding that sometimes. Like my friend, you know, he had had problems in the past. We thought he was past it. We thought he was done with all that kind of stuff. And instead, he got back into it and it killed him. So I understand where people are coming from. That people want to end this crisis. But putting the dealers to death will not solve the problem. Just recently, you had a big, a, a big pharmaceutical company come out and admit. They admitted that they were paying doctors. That they were paying doctors to prescribe more and more and more opioids. 
that's one of those things. I had a friend of mine about two years ago, maybe less than two years ago, told me that doctor that these pharmaceutical companies were paying doctors to um, prescribe certain medications. And I was like, I'm sure it happens, but I didn't think it was that prevalent. I was wrong. Because they've been doing it for 15 plus years. And when did it, and how do people get hooked on heroin? I saw a report that some 60%, somewhere between 55 to 60% of people hooked on, on um, opioids like heroin originally got addicted on opioid painkillers that were prescribed by their doctor. Many of which by this company that were forced onto them when they didn't necessarily need it. And it's, the, it's all about the profit motive, is it not? These people sit there day in and day out peddling these drugs to people. And we're going to be mad at the people that are peddling heroin? And we're going to put them to death when we're going to let the CEOs of people like Purdue Pharma get off with it? And they're not going to have any, they're not going to have anything done to them. Sure, their company might get a fine, but they're not going to be shut down. They're not going to be put in prison. They're not going to be put in the death chamber. But some man on the corner selling marijuana to somebody? That person's going to go to the pen and be put to death? Someone selling heroin on the, on the street corner to somebody who is hooked on, on, on opioids? Because they, they were prescribed medication by a doctor who was paid by a huge company? To prescribe this person said medication? I think we got things a bit backed up here, or fu fucked up here. This ain't right. These people, as in Big Pharma, have been paying doctors to get people hooked on opioids. So they'll keep coming back for more and more and more. But then sooner or later, the doctor will cut them off and say, Oh, you're a drug seeker. I can't prescribe drugs for you anymore. Or you have doctor's offices that will have quit prescribing those kind of medications at all. And so where do the people that are hooked on this stuff go? They either go through withdrawals and get over it, like some people I know have, or they don't. And they go seeking other drugs like heroin, which ends up killing them. If you have any question about about where big pharma is in this in, in this whole op opioid epidemic, they're the root cause of the current situation we find ourselves in. Sure, heroin was around a long time for, before this kind of stuff came out, but this goes back to the '90s. Some of it, you know, pushing these drugs on people, whether they were paying doctors at the time or not. But I do know they were paying doctors for at least the fifteen last fifteen to twenty years, going all the way back to the you know the early the late nineties, and they started pushing it on doctors to prescribe it, you know back as far as 90, 1995. Things like oxycotton, you know Vicodin stuff like that. And then what are you gonna do? Sooner or later you cut off the person that you're dealing it to. Through the far, you know, through the drugstore, and they're off trying to find it somewhere else. And you're going to sit there and punish the person trying to help these people out. And I'm not saying that you don't punish the drug dealers. Okay, I'm not saying that. But if you're going to be putting people, if you want to be putting heroin dealers and pot dealers on death row, then you need to go over to Purdue Pharma. You need to be arresting their CEOs and putting them in the same exact damn place. I cannot believe the direction people want to go here. We're going to sit there and let the corporations off scot-free that have been peddling this junk, that have caused these people to be seeking heroin. Remember, that number, some 55 to 60% of people right now hooked on heroin and in the middle of this opioid epidemic were originally hooked on prescription 
opioid painkillers. Keep that in mind. You can think I'm crazy, but go do your own research. It's out there, folks. Doc companies like Purdue Pharma and other companies have been paying doctors to hook Americans on opioids. It's a fact. You cannot deny it. And if Donald Trump wants to sit there and put, wants to be putting dealers in, pr in prison, fine. Putting them to death, I draw the line. Unless, you know, people like the DEA are going to roll up on Purdue Pharma and take all their CEOs and put them on death row. That's all I have for you on this particular video. I'll have another video coming up for you in a little while later. But anyhow, for right now, that's what I have for you. We have got to put an end to the opioid crisis. And I don't believe the end to, to the opioid crisis is killing drug dealers. Many of them who themselves are addicts that are only selling to cover their own need. Anyhow, that's been the Big Ranch Show for you. I'm your host, Jacob Keck. I'll see you down the road.